Hello everyone. Today we are going to be discussing unit rate. Our objective throughout this lesson is to be able to define unit rate and apply it to real world situations. A unit rate is a ratio that compares two quantities with different units, where the denominator of the ratio is 1. Whenever I say the word unit, I want you to think of the number 1. Unit rates are commonly seen in pricing and speed. How can I find the unit rate? First, you're going to write the ratio. Then you're going to set the ratio equal to another ratio with a denominator of one. The third step is to determine the factor of change and divide. Let's take a look at what I mean by this. This is a pricing example. George pays $42 for 12 gallons of gas. So first I'm going to write the ratio. $42 over 12 gallons. Next, you can notice that I put 42 over 12 and I set it equal to something over 1. Well, I noticed down here that 12 divided by 12 gives me 1. And we know from our equivalent ratios, whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So 42 divided by 12 gives me $3.50. This can be said as George pays $3.50 per gallon. This line down here can be replaced with the word per. Let's take a look at an example regarding speed. Ashley drives 195 miles in three hours. First, I'm going to write my ratio, 195 over three. Then I'm going to see what my factor of change is. Well, this is blank, and I'm going to put the denominator as one. How do I get from three to one? I know I divide by three. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 195 divided by three gives me 65. So Ashley drives 65 miles per hour. Again, this line can be replaced with the word per. You can write rates such as this. 60 miles per one hour, 60 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour with a slash. So again, that line will represent the word per. Or 60 MPH, standing for miles per hour. That means that we're going 60 miles for every hour that we drive. Moving forward, next time you're shopping, buying food, driving in a car or more, try to determine the unit rate in your situation. We'll see you next time on another video.